So that makes us that we are creating uh, uh, economic systems made by activists, but not only for activists, but for everyone. So that that way that she can she can buy things in the in the, in the network, and at the same time we receive euros, yeah, official currency, that we collectivize, and with this money. Uh, which can be 100 or 1,000 even in, in a big fair in the street. Uh, we go and buy uh, basic uh, need, basic uh, food, uh, uh, well, food or basic uh, goods for for the people of the network. Sometimes this is decided through democracy in the you know, by mail or by the webs, uh, and we we'll decide what to buy with euros. We buy that and then we bring it into the network and we sh share it in local currency, again, to everyone. You know, to the activists like myself, for instance, or to the visitors like my mother, that can again change money. So this creates a, a very uh, a virtual circle where we have more and more products, and people say, oh, I can buy rice, uh, organic rice, local food, uh, uh, ecological, uh, by the same amount that I can find it in the supermarket, but with a more local and more democratic currency where I can say how we build the system so people are interested in joining it. So this is what what defines, in, in short, uh, what is an eco-network. Um, I was part of the beginning of the creation of the first one in, in, in Monsen in 2009, and then we have 20 now in, in Catalonia or more, and, and it has helped a lot, and there's like thousands of people involved, and each of them is autonomous in each bio region of Catalonia, uh, but they are linked together, you know? uh, but from autonomy, you know? which is like the anarchist uh, confederative uh, way. You know? uh, so, well, this uh, began in 2009, and well, from that, many projects began to, to, to work, and many people joined it, because besides the economical thing, economy is just an excuse. Here with us, and in capitalism, you know? in capitalism, economy is an excuse to have a slave society where people are forced to go and do works that most of the times they don't like to, in order to have 1,000 euros per month. So they go every month there to... So economy is just an excuse to, to organize society. Uh, you know, in feudalism as well, in the indigenous tribe as well, and here for us as well, just an excuse. So this creates a cooperative, a cooperative links between people, sometimes people who are neighbors and they never talk to each other, uh, thanks to these systems, they began to know each other and they began to do projects like new food cooperatives or uh, uh, working cooperatives and things like that, or housing proposals, etc. So uh, this is what, what we did and I think it's a very interesting and it's something that I think that it's, it's, the, its development is like free software, no? so each community can just take the parts that they like, uh, do new, new proposals and then we can learn from these new proposals so this is like, uh, as it could be now, society you know, and democracy. It could be all like in a free software or a wiki-based uh, society, which is, well, I have a book which is almost finished, but it's in Catalan by now, which is called Wiki Crassy, and it talks about that, and you are welcome to see it. It's online as well, I will put the, the links after. So we could build a society like that in a, in a, in a wiki uh, method. So, so this was well the economy, uh, uh, one of the economy things, uh, structures, and then from that in 2010 uh, we began what we call the Integral Catalan uh, Cooperative. Uh, you know, we have to find a better translation in, in English because integral is not what it means for us. It's like holistic. Or it means like all of it, you no? Know, like. Uh, Working cooperative, health cooperative, food cooperative, housing cooperative, all in one. No? Uh, Ali will also talk about that a little, a little bit more. But mainly, this is a well, this is a proposal. It, it began um, by the one of their main drivers was uh, Enric Duran, who is a very renowned activist in Catalonia and in Spain, and it's quite known uh, in other places as well. Because in 2008 uh, he did a, a banking disobedience action, which consisted in, in asking for credit of uh, 15 banks up to half a million euros, and then he never thought of giving, giving it back to the banks. He just gave it to the social movements. 
So he's now being prosecuted for that action. Uh, during three years, he was quite free, waiting for the trial. Now, well, he had a trial, he didn't attend to the trial, so now he's prosecuted and he's somewhere in Europe, hiding, for three years. But before he went hiding, he, he, he was the main driver of the beginning of this CIC. You know? I was there also, and some other people at the beginning, helping him and other people. And uh, so in 2010, it, it began the CIC. Uh, as well, similarly than the Echo Networks, we, we, we did at the beginning some kind of proposal that then it, 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 it became broader and better than what we thought in the beginning. No? Uh, so now the CIC also has like some thousands of activists uh, linked with it, and it has created many interesting structures that help us do what is one of the main slogans, let's say, which is to be able to live without uh, capitalism and without state. So, so this is a so well. It, there's like many structures. Mainly, one of the main things is that we create a legal body that uh, allow many collectives to use straight away this this legal body without the need of creating one an association, a cooperative, which takes time, takes money, and the system it knows it. No? It's one of the things that they try to. To, to make it more difficult. So we create some legal bodies. We have like four or five cooperatives, different cooperatives for different issues. And so a new project can just use this cooperative uh, body and then do whatever they want inside. You know? uh, and we, we can be self-managed and self-rule inside. But regarding the state, we have this legal protection. You know? So we make it much more difficult as well for the state to try to, to end up with us, or to make it difficult, or to put many taxes, etc. No? So this is one thing. Then there's like many things, uh, structures that help these projects, like for instance, and these projects, and also the Eco Network that I talked before, which are still autonomous in each VO region, but they, the CIC has helped. For instance, we bought a big uh, truck, and with this truck, we do we we. We created a system of, uh, of purchasing products and, and, and food from these projects and selling it to other projects in local currency. You know? So this is something that a small eco network could not do, but all this together and the CIC, it helped creating this, this system, which is the, the CAC, the, the Central of Food uh, Sharing. So, and it's going quite well. So then when I, for instance, myself, I am beginning a new project, I know that I can sell the food that I can harvest there to this network. And I can receive part of it in, in euros as well as a producer, but then they they manage it so that they can sell it completely in local currency. And then there's other things like cash, which is a banking system with euros as well, that helps investing in new projects and, and other structures. There was a, a proposal on health systems, education, so we there's many things going on in Catalonia, no? and this is just one more, but it has been like an umbrella for helping the collectives that were already working to not to be alone there doing something like it happens normally, you know, some collectives doing things, but, but they are not tied to a network. You know? So this has created a strong network, which is more than uh, just a network like, let's say, the Eco Village Network or or, or social economy networks in each country, which is as well people doing their stuff, and then once a year just connecting somehow or having. Uh, in our case, it's permanently. You know, it's a permanently linked uh, structure, uh, respecting the sovereignty of each part, but it's a uh, permanently linked. You know? So well, from from the CIC, because many things have have been. Uh, uh, well, we began many things. Uh, and as well, you can follow it as well. There's many web pages, cooperativa.cat. There's many links where you can follow uh, what is going on. And then uh, finally, we'll also explain a little bit uh, one of these projects, which was uh, Calafo. I also took part in the beginning. Uh, it began in 2010. Um, but then I, well, I stayed there a couple of years and then I, I quit it. Um, but, but it's still very interesting. It just that it became too, too punk for my. <laughs> from my point of view, but, but it's interesting as a project, uh, which is mainly uh, uh, 
a space for uh, uh, technological sovereignty, no? which is mainly free software, open source hardware, and also uh, so, uh, so mill, una, una fusteria, no? uh, and then a beer production, uh, artisanal beer as well, because beer is one of the big products no, that we can sell in our own networks, uh, for good or, or bad. Uh, so it's going quite well, and there's like 30 families that we began to, to buy a whole town. So it was not a squatting, it was not uh, the town hall that gave us a, a house or something. We bought it, no? and then we, well, we are in the process of buying it. We pay 300,000 euros out of 400,000, so we're finishing to pay. Um, and we are beginning to, to do uh, work in cooperatives there that generate uh, revenues uh, in euros and also local currencies and nothing. And, and we have an, an internal economy as well. <clears throat> so this is uh, very interesting. You, you can visit it. It's also, uh, they have a nice web page and everything. Calafo. And it's like uh, 30 apartments. Well, we, we, are, we begin to, to build, to, to buy. Uh, it's like a, like a town, but it's not in fact a town, it's like an industrial colony. There used to be men in Catalonia in the 19th century, they are all abandoned now. And there was a church there, there was the, the machine to make electricity there with the river, there was uh, the house of the priest, the school for children, the school for the workers, so all in one. In fact, it was a kind of uh, industrial uh, feudalism. So what we tried to do there was to put together these industrial colonies together with the collectivizations of 1936, no? of the anarchist revolution in, of, in Catalonia, which, by the way, I recommend to anyone uh, the book of George Orwell, uh, Homage to Catalonia, to, to know better this experience because it shows us that very interesting things, you know, what happened in 1936. So we try to put together all these two things, and we are sort of, well, they are sort of, of doing it. We have had many conflicts and it was not easy, living in community is not easy, especially when there's a lot of money in between, and etc. But the project is there and they are doing it, uh, which is already a big thing. No? They are standing there for five years already and they are doing a lot of, well, Arduino, and microchips and many things, it's very interesting. So, so this is uh, one of the projects, there are some others, this is the, the biggest one. Then myself, well, after living there for a while, I, I, I had to quit because it was not my sensibility, let's say, the, the punk uh, culture. So I went to, to another place and we are, I am now beginning a kind of eco-village, a uh, new eco-village in the Pyrenees that you are also very welcome. And it will be like more hippie, let's say, no? more, more uh, different sensibility. And also for academic research in, in new uh, advanced social uh, studies. No? You're very invited there, but we, I am just beginning. By now I'm alone with some animals and some friends, but nobody <laughs> fully committed. Um, and it's also buying a place. You know? So uh, we understood that buying a place, uh, it's interesting because, one, it shows us how to organize since the beginning in order to get it. Then we have the sovereignty of the space. So that means we don't have a boss, because even if you're squatting, the boss is the, the, the jury, or how you call it, the, the juez, no, the, the, the judge, or whoever, or, or the owner, that can say, okay, uh, for a while I can keep them, but then if the, if the, if the neighborhood has a better price or something, they just get evicted. So this is not, not being fully dependent on yourself, but on somebody else. Or, as I said at the beginning, you're struggling to, to survive, you know, just to, to be there, or then the friends who are being prosecuted, and the police, and so you get into a into in, into a line which is not uh, fully working to create things but working to survive so once we we are able to buy a land uh, we are forced to to create working cooperatives to generate incomes and to organize and not to discuss too much because there's money involved there's many things involved so we cannot have the the, the luxury of discussing just for nothing I mean, we can discuss but we have to so this is what me personally, personally, I believe now that <clears throat> that should be one of the ways to to do the struggle. You know? Not only squatting, we can continue squatting, of course, but but it's if it's only that, I don't think we have a long uh, way forward as as social transformation proposals. You know? 
So, and then, well, to finish, and then we can go to questions if you want. Uh, I will also uh, talk about some of the main concepts that uh, helped us doing all these things. Uh, one is the transition concept. No? We, we have an, not only the transition time things, but also the, the main concept of what means a transition between the, the, well, the world that we are now, no? which is a sociopath, ecocide system no? that we allow them to continue, even with the crisis of economic crisis, we continue with the same old wars. No? In Spain, this is 10 times worse, no? because we are in a Frankist state. Uh, but you know the world is happening, and we are seeing how authoritarianism is, is 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 there with Trump, Erdogan, all these things. No? Uh, so uh, so we understand one that, that there's no way to to there's, well, it's very difficult to change the big structures. No, I I took part a lot in the World Social Forum in Porto Alegre. We all been in, in in Seattle or the Zapatista movements in trying to change the world. No, but we all we all see you know, that it's very difficult or impossible, it's a big uh, structure, very well designed, they have a big thing there, very well established, and it's very difficult to, to put it down. So, so we understood 